the 1.5 billion was stolen and the laundering process has begun. As of uh, just a few days ago, our numbers indicate that over 90% of the funds mm. that Lazarus Group hack are still sitting on the blockchain. So for the 10% that's no longer on the blockchain, that comes in a few forms. One of which being seizures and disruptions, like we saw with Mantle, $43 million of it was seized very quickly after the, the start of the hack. And then you have a combination of lost funds and fees, as well as small portions that have been off ramped North Korea, from a nation state, from an illicit actor perspective, is by far the most technologically and technically advanced in the way that they operate. That being said, they absolutely use a very consistent fingerprint in the way that they facilitate laundering of funds. And we've seen this happen time and time again from different exploits on chain, where Lazarus Group gets the exploit to a single wallet. They then break down funds from that wallet to a handful of wallets, usually a few dozen of them, and then start bridging using DeFi protocols using no KYC instant swap services to get it off of the native token of Ethereum and into Bitcoin, where they can start chopping it up further and send through mixers and further obfuscate where the funds are going. It's complicated. Hope is not all lost. 